Cup Series Race 3. 35 cars around this short street course. This has been probably one of the most looked forward to races this year. It's a very tight racetrack, but it is a capable of going four wide. We'll see which drivers dare to go where in this race. Several drivers have, I think they have a fighting chance at winning. Let's Charles Yerk on the pole with Blake Robuck second. This Darren Gray in the Phoenix Racing Dodge, Doug Denise, Evan Moore, and teammate Mike John follow after that. Then it's Landon Heinberg and Bob Fergus. Mark Edwards and Phil Chappelle. Then it's Ian Walsh and Jared Wilson. Blake Beast and uh, Carlos Hamlin after that. Then it's Brendan McDowell and Matthew Steelman. Zach Steelman and Taylor Thompson follow after that. Then it's Jack Richards and Donnie Brock. Then you have Michael Steelman and Jack Sadler. Then it's Keegan McDowell and Paul Scott. Followed by that is Chris Overland and Grant Keldman. Then you got Matthew Gordon and Ben Butler. Mark McFarland and Happy Feet. Then the only two Pontiacs, Chris P. Bacon and Luke Cannon. Then it's Kenny Hansen and Bryce Andrus. And Josh Everyone was injured in practice. Declan Stack will fit, er, sorry. Josh was injured in qualifying. Declan Stack will take over for him. Here's on board, Josh. Let's go down to the command. Gentlemen, start your engines. And the green flag getting ready to wave. The pace car pulls off. Charles, Eric, and Blake Robuck lead him down. Here we go. Green flag. Oh, he, he saved it. Unbelievable. And they're already four wide. That was Ian Walsh making the move. On board of Charles Yerk right here. That was unbelievable. We got a car in the wall. Bob Fergus and Steelman's turned around. Oh, and it's Jack Richards. And remember, those two tangled at the uh, Colorado Raceway Park and Loomis. And this could be payback. Let's see. Ooh, Carlos got into Bob Fergus right there, his teammate, and then Jack Richards ran over Matthew Steelman. We'll take a commercial break. It's the Pennzoil Cup Series on D88 Rocks TV. Green flag back in the air. Here comes Doug Denise and Charles Yerk side by side. Here comes Darren Gurry. Gurry spins Yerk. Yerk goes around. Look out. Oh, man, Thompson barely missed that. Here comes Walsh to lead. Walsh spins. Gurry got to Denise. Denise slid up into Walsh. Man. Here comes Mike John. Oh, Richards into the wall. Steelman Moore. Denise piling. Here comes Gurry through the grass. Oh, and they spin. Roebuck into Steelman. Chappelle's on his lid. Taylor Thompson. Blake Beast. A late hit by Chris Overland on Zach Steelman. Donnie Brock got a piece of it. Paul Scott. Charles Yerk I saw get into Scott while he was sliding. It looked like Beast may have gotten into his teammate Taylor Thompson. Ooh, McDowell turned Beast. And look at that. All four RCR cars involved. Michael Steelman got hit hard by Blake Roebuck. And then a bunch of cars slide into the Barrett tires. And Chris Overland couldn't stop and ran right underneath Zach Steelman. There's Michael and Roebuck. Chappelle on his lid, Zach Seelman on his side. Here's uh, Yurt getting turned around by Gurry. Man, Gurry's been get hit bouncing off these guys today. He's gotten to Doug Denise a couple times, but we'll take a commercial break. Welcome back. We're still under red flag. Mike John leads the field after about a 10 car wreck coming off of turn two when. Brendan McDowell tipped around uh, Blake Beast. He slid into a couple of teammates. Michael Steelman took a huge hit on the driver door into uh, the tires. He is out of his car now as on board. This is on board with Blake Beast. You can see McDowell just got into him. And uh, I don't think Richard Childress is going to be happy with Ganassi. So we'll take a commercial break while they finish cleaning up. Green flag back in the air. Mike John leads him. He's got the lead. Can he hold it? Here comes Curry. Makes contact. Oh, Mike John slides. Here comes Curry. They hit again. Sliding, crashing. Here comes Landon Heiberg and Mark Edwards for the lead. Here comes Doug Denise. Denise to the lead. Oh, here comes Curry. Curry spins him. No, the top two get spun out. Unbelievable. Look at that. He just dumped him in the middle of the straightaway. And then sent both of them into the tires. I'm sure Doug Neese is going to be happy, but we'll take a commercial break. Two laps to go. Mark Edwards leads him down. Heinberg into the wall. 
Here comes Mike John on, on board of Mark Edwards. Oh, Heinberg's in the tires. Hard. What a huge crash. It was that right front went down is what it looks like. Here's the battle back for the lead in row Buck. Spinning in the background, he's wrecked, and it's Mark Edwards wins. Unbelievable. Blake Roebuck being tended to. Same thing with uh, Landon Heinberg right now. Roebuck still is struggling to get out of his car, but look at this finish. Oh my goodness, he hit the, He didn't even hit the tires. But here's Edwards winning. Man, what a finish. And you can see all the cars going through the grass because Roebuck is sitting in turn one, while Heinberg thought he could win it. But. So congratulations to Mark Edwards. The season got off to a rough start. But I think this is going to be a big jump for Hendrick Motorsports and the number five team. We'll see you next week as er, in the Penzo Cup Series.